Hello everyone, my name is of course John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan, and we're going to do another edition of the da 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 Ghost Slayers Report. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention I am rather sick at the moment, so if I have a stray cough or something like that, please forgive me. Now what we're going to talk about is the recent ratification that was went into effect here in Japan on April 1st of the Hague Treaty. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, if I'm not... I, of course, apologize. It's basically a thing that says, it's an international treaty that says a child's habitual place of residence factors heavily into when parents divorce and split up. A parent cannot remove that child from their habitual place of residence without the other parent's consent. Japan, of course, the bourgeois power here, dragged their feet on this and only recently ratified it. And we'll get into why rather shortly. Now to understand the problem here and why this is coming up is because a pamphlet was recently released to all the emissaries in, in across the world, the Japanese emissaries, to explain this to Japanese citizens. On the cover of this pamphlet was a foreign man beating his child with a little thought bubble coming up from the child thinking about his their mother who lives in Japan. What is that implying? Well, let's look at how things are. Now, for a long time, Japan wanted the bourgeois here in Japan wanted the following situation to continue to be true. They wanted to where um, if a Japanese citizen gets divorced in a foreign country, they can take that child back to Japan without the other parent have any say so in it. On the other hand, they also wanted to be if a child was born in Japan and the foreign parent could not take that child back to their country of birth. Rather odd. You know, it's a, it's a double standard saying we can do it, but you can't. Doesn't work like that in Japan. And about this pamphlet, playing this game of, oh, it's poor the Japanese, you know, the outside world's so scary because we're so xenophobic. They can only, you can only get a good deal on marriage if you stay right here in Japan. It's utterly ridiculous. And the Hague Convention negates both of those things that Japan wanted. So they very grudgingly signed it. So they, of course, you know the bourgeois have to save face here in Japan and continue on with this love, love your controlling class by saying, oh, you know, these foreigners, you know, implying that, you know, these foreigners, they tricked us into this. We, we had no choice, you see, but all you have to do is make sure you have the child in Japan then you can fight and resist any type of divorce because we know, of course, that foreign fathers are abusive and mean and scary. Really? That type of image you keep kind of promoting as the world changes? As it's very clear the world doesn't want to go in that direction anymore? You continue to be xenophobic and stubborn It just shows you the mentality of the bourgeois here in Japan. Now they're so protective of the capital they control. And what, why would they not be? They're capitalist bourgeois after all. So I thought I would make this short video and bring this point up. Because the first time you see me, hey, click, 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 click. Subscribe, make it happen. You get lots of videos like this and a little surprise from time to time. So until next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo, checking out.